Okay, today we're talking about the uh, pinion holder on your transmission. Uh, the front pinion holder, the stock one is just a piece of stamped steel, and what happens, you know, it bolts on the front of your, this the stock piece of the transmission, the pinion shaft goes through, the nut on it. Uh, this goes over top of this. The recess goes there, That the, it's, it's designed so this bearing face right here will go up against this, and the snap ring will just pop down inside of this area, so it's a, a real tight fit on that, so it cannot move. The stock one's made out of stamped steel, and what happens when it's, when it's under load, the pinion shaft wants to force everything forward. You'll push on this bearing, and it'll actually bend this. And what happens? You get a whole bunch of backlash on your ring and pinion. You break a ring and pinion. And uh, had people call me up and say, "Jesus, does the spacers go? The shims go? Does it go between this and the pinion holder?" I go, "No, it don't. The pinion holder is just the, this. The stock piece here. This goes here. The shims go on the back side here. We sell these shims too. There's a 10, 20, and 30 thousand shim. Uh, these shims here." As you put the transmission gear, you got to mock it up. It sets the pinion depth back of the ring and pinion. So if your pinion gear is riding too depth, too deep, too far back, you need to add shims here to bring that whole pinion forward. Same way if it's riding too shallow, it needs to be pushed back. You know that ring gear should be right center, center line of that ring gear. The pinion should be. And that's what I do is you just adjust the pinions. It's kind of a pain in the butt because you got to take that nut off. And this is a press fit on the shaft, so you got to get it off and change it. And you know, see so when you make an adjustment, it may take several times to get it right. So, but anyway, that just bolts on there. They bolt this pin, pin, pinion holder over top of it. To put two bolts here. These are two bolts and you build it shorter because they're recessed because you got the, uh, the disc brake is there and the housing's cast for, for the disc brake is in the plungers right down there. That's why that's like that. So that's the way it goes on the top like that. And that's all to it. And that nut on that front pinion nut, I always use a half inch drive impact, tighten that nut down as tight as you can get it. Then put a little Loctite on it when you do it and then, then stake that nut down so it don't back back off. That's all to that.